Well, it still continues this, the trend of that there's only one good Saw movie, really. Yeah. Yeah. Whole, whole, wholeheartedly agree. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is our review for Saw 2. Yeah, Saw uh, 2. Con continuing the trend of our, uh, we're, we're hoping that maybe we can get through to all of them before the new one comes out on Halloween. Nay, nay, oh dear God, 1,000 times nay. And, uh, yeah, I don't like this one. I honestly, this is the only one other than the first one I've seen more than once. And it's been years since I've seen it, and uh, I, I feel like I enjoyed it more this time than I remember, but it's still not a good movie. Um, <laughs> the whole concept of kind of taking what you said was a script that was written by the director. Yeah, it's Boseman wrote this for uh, to be another movie entirely, Something and else. after Saw did really well. Um, they brought in Lee Winnell to make it a Saw movie. So essentially a Cloverfield. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's got some ideas that I think are kind of cool, like these guys being trapped in a house, having to figure out the clues, all the while Donnie's trying to figure out where his son is because Jigsaw's in the room with him. On paper, in concept, these have a cool, like, it'd yeah. be a cool synopsis, but holy shit is the execution kind of messy. Yeah, it's, I mean, it is Boseman's first film. Um, I mean, granted, he does two more of these dumpster fires. So, <laughs> like, I, I'll say, like, maybe some of it's there, but I, I do like aspects of this movie. There's, I, I mean, the escape room thing is kind of cool. I like that that's the way it kind of plays out. Um, I like that it ends up not being, like, really Jigsaw's puzzle, so it, like, justifies its difference early on, although I'm still not a huge fan of that whole plot twist. And then, like, it feels like it couldn't even be bothered for just one plot twist. It does several. <laughs> And then it feels like this movie is very much overreaching. It's trying yep. to have too many things scene. at the same time rather than actually just having a concise movie because you have editing that would definitely put seizures into anyone suffering <laughs> from epilepsy. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's definitely cut together oh, it's like a new metal music. They took a lot of the aspects that worked in the first film, and they're like, hey, why don't we just shove that full of ADHD I mean, and adrenaline? The first movie did that, too, but this movie definitely does more of it, and, like... It's excessive. Somehow it's, it's far more, too somehow excessive. It's, yeah, somehow it's, it's a problem in this one. No real central character that you root for in this movie. Yeah. Like, you can maybe say the son, and you can say Amanda. But he's, he's kind of a... The sun's kind of a wet blanket the whole movie. Like, yeah, it doesn't like, do much. Like, no, no, everyone's cardboard in this yeah. movie. And except for one particular character who's, he's just an infuriating cardboard being the, the drug dealer character. Oh, I remember gosh. absolutely detesting this guy <laughs> when I saw it the first time. I was like, he's an idiot. He's stupid. This guy is just a, there's nothing about his character that's enjoyable. Like, obviously you've got to have an antagonist this, in sort of situations like this, but he's he's literally just a brick wall. I'm getting out of here. A brick wall that is aggressive and um, and pulls off and, something and completely vulgar. impossible at the end of the movie. Like that. <laughs> Which, I, I was gonna bring. I was like, I was trying to figure out when to bring that part up because I think the thing that bugs me most about that is it's like the moment. Like we start getting the like we talked about in our first review the the da 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 da. Like it starts rolling the big thing, but that's him cutting his number off the back of his neck, which doesn't matter which, at and all. You think that someone <laughs> like this big brute who's got a muscle shirt on essentially? Hey, hey, look, there's. There's a number on the back of your neck. It's very, very obvious to see. Everyone here could have, like, you know, had a, yeah. like maybe some sort of distinguisher to tell, because like hoodies, hair, yeah, hoodie, hair, yeah, but uh, but he, he, he's he's buzzed head and he's got a fucking muscle shirt. How did no one see his fucking number? Also, yeah. how did he cut it off? The best part of that movie, what it should have been, he messed it up. Which I thought they could have ended up doing because everybody else fucks up everything else they do in this movie. Like every trap that someone gets brought into. In any way, like, they fuck it up. And that's the other thing, too. There is an inconsistency with the traps. Some of these traps are like, you're fucking dead. You are dead if you make the slightest mistake, while some of them are like, yeah, they're not great. Like, obviously, the one that I'm talking about is the needle pit. Best scene in the movie. Best scene. Everyone gets the shivers <laughs> from that. I, I stood up, and I was like, Ugh. It's hard to watch that scene. That but there's tough. nothing negative about it. Like, like, none of the syringes have, like poison or anything in them there's no yeah it's just negative that it's, one's just it, pain it fucking sucks yes there's a few like what's it the one that's just randomly in the box i feel like they're like hey we got to kill this character off uh have her enter this room stumbled, that stumbled no one room. else checked 
a lot of the elements of this movie are just really dumb. I find that there's too many people who are just too stupid. I understand that they've they've got some nerve agent, which, by the way, how the fuck did Jigsaw get his hands on a war <laughs> crime? A literal war crime. That's the, it seems a little fun, like that's one of those, and it kind of gets just like tossed aside, like of course you'd have this. Also, how do you get this house? How do you get this house built? How do you have like, multiple houses? I mean, I guess, yeah, multiple houses. I mean, I guess, again, if you Is go by the Detroit? can of the rest of the movie, there's like 45 fucking cops on his payroll, basically. Yeah, apparently. So. Like, yeah, it's just like the further it's and further the cult this goes of along. Jigsaw. We haven't even right. got to no. the Hoffman era yet. No. It's a very messy movie. It, it was ambitious in a way, yeah. I'll give it that, but I feel that it reaches way too far with too many things. Too many conveniences. I feel that the what's it you say like the director having this being his first time experience as well as like obviously not having someone as experienced as james wan was even then james wan was yeah this, i mean he's a year out of his first film yeah, at this point like, but he just a much more concise idea and then the, the melding of the two scripts just doesn't work yeah some parts are okay other parts not at all and i feel like that ended up i mean it, it also kind of heralds i mean it sucks because it, it actually maybe fits in more than we're giving it credit for because i think it heralds a lot of the nonsense that comes later in this franchise with the like the too many twists and mm -hmm. the like, the like deliberately confusing timelines for things and ge and like the geography is all over the place. Which I commented while we were watching. I kind of like the ed some of the editing where the some geography of it, it's not where bad. like it pans off yeah. somebody walking to as if they're panning to the people next to them, but they're in a different room. I thought that was cool, but and deliberately confusing the, on the, the geography. The ending can definitely be kind of commendable because it does have like that element of like, oh, they're in the house at the same time. It does give you this multiple feeling of false sense of hope, <laughs> I guess. And that part is good. I feel like the ending is a the most decent part of the whole movie yeah, aside from the, the needle the, scene the needle pit and the and the ending but um, even then like the editing is just <laughs> it's like it's way 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 too much i mean it does have a mud vein song in the credits so you know new metal lives strong in this movie <laughs> yes so that's what i definitely can see that maybe they took they have some of those own criticisms themselves yeah because the third movie is literally the most concise thing it is <laughs> I'm, I'm looking for i'm looking forward to watch the third one because i honestly the i know three like three's the 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 end of jigsaw that's like the only thing i remember end. it's the doctor end. it's the doctor um amanda and him in the medical room i don't remember anything else about the movie and all the remember, other movies are like weird amalgamations of like I have no idea which came where and what not so I'm, I'm looking forward to watching the rest of the series even though I have absolutely no faith I'm gonna like any of them no probably not for some reason I still feel that six was good but I think that's because it was taking apart the American <laughs> uh, medical system I do vaguely remember liking I actually think I, I have like weirdly fond memories of four I don't know why. Uh, like when I think of the Saw series, like four sticks out of my Donnie head. Wahlberg, which by the way he was in this movie too. Yeah. Don't worry though, they'll, they'll forget that he was in it too. So in the end, though, uh, what's your rating I'm, for I'm, this? Uh, I'm I'm gonna go with a three. Honestly, like I did enjoy it more than I. I it's not good, but I did enjoy like bits and pieces. I like the needle scenes fun. I like the ending, and I think that when I get down to the ones of the later series, or, like <laughs> the straight up like negative forty eight that I'll give Jigsaw. <laughs> um, I think I need to give this one a three, like relatively speaking. But I, 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 I part of me enjoyed this. Um, I, I could see it's not good. I could see the want to give it a three, but I, I just can't. It's <laughs> just so irritating to watch. The editing is awful. <sighs> like, the only good part about it is the twist at the end. Not even the twist well, we at didn't the talk end. Just the, the puns, ending, though. Jigsaw dropping some mighty fine puns. Oh, the safe. It might even get a butt, a bump up to that three. What a fine a because he's in a safe, safe and secure place while he's like sitting next to the safe. Yeah. Son is in. Like it's stupid. He's close at hand and things. Yeah. That's so stupid. And, but yo, know, that whole interrogation Jigsaw scene. making dad jokes. Or he's just being like cryptic. It's like, I would want to punch him too. It's like, well, I mean, that, that's all he wants him to do. He's being cryptic. Yeah. Like, and then also Donnie Wahlberg's entire thing is. No, no, there is like just what just wait for two hours like that's yeah that's... That, that was the goal but how he like well, how does that correlate into anyways but my rating for this is a two out of seven it has some okay elements but it's essentially a very very crappy version of the first movie expanded yeah yeah it's not as i mean i gave the first one a five and uh yeah 
I, you know, maybe a two and a half, honestly. Yeah. It's not good, but I, I did like it more than I remembered liking it, so... I, I remember exactly all of the parts that I didn't like about this one. <laughs> all right, well, guys, that's our review for this one, and now we're about to watch number three. We're yeah, trying we're to blast through blast these. Blast through a couple of these. So, uh, and we'll be serious this time, unlike yes. every other time we've said that we're going to do it fast. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested, more subscribe, and uh, wait till we do number three, which will be hopefully very soon, depending on my editing. <laughs> all right, Cheers. see you guys.